Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert here, and I'm here with part nine of my 10-day FizzBuzz challenge where I'm challenging myself to complete the FizzBuzz challenge in as many different languages as possible, and I would encourage you to try yourself as well. Uh, now, what is the FizzBuzz challenge? Well, the FizzBuzz challenge is kind of like an easy interview question where you loop through numbers one through 100, printing them out on the screen, and uh, you print out all the numbers except for numbers that are divisible by three. When you print f which numbers that are divisible by three, you would print fizz. Numbers that are divisible by five, you print buzz. If they're divisible by both three and five, you'd print fizz buzz. Okay, so that's the, the challenge. In part nine here, I'm going to do it in R. Okay, so part one, I did it in uh, JavaScript, part two, Python, part three, C, part four, C. Part five, C sharp, dot net. Um, part six, I did Java. Part seven, I did Fortran. Uh, and part eight, I did PHP. So we're up to part nine doing R. Let's get started to make it a little bit more difficult on myself. I'm going to do it in Vim with a blank Vim RC. Okay, so I'm going to create a file called fizzbuzz.r. And uh, I'm going to start off by initializing a variable and setting it equal to one. And then I'm going to create a while loop. And I'm going to say while x is less than 101, because we want to go from one to 100, uh, I'm going to execute some code. Okay, so I have to have some if, uh, else if, else statement. Okay. And the first condition I'm going to check for is if it's divisible by both three and five. The reason being is that if something meets a certain condition in an if else, if else statement, it will execute the code in that first condition it meets and then skip the rest. Okay, so let's consider the number 15. If I put the first condition as being only divisible by three, it would meet that con condition execute that code and skip the code where it's checking for divisibility by three and five. Okay, so I've got to put the divisibility by three and five first, and then we'll put the divisibility by three and then by five after that, okay? If it's only divisible by three, it's not going to meet that first condition because it's not going to meet the and divisible by five. And so that's why we're doing that. All right, so let's write this. So I'm going to check that x is divisible by 3 by doing an x and then these double percentage signs, which means modulo. And what modulo means is if I divide a number by 3, uh, it's going to check for the remainder. If that remainder equals 0, well, that means it's divisible by 3. Let's think about this. So 3 divided by 3. 3 is divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1 with a remainder of 0. 6 is divisible by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2 with a remainder of 0. 9 uh, divided by 3 is 3 with a remainder of 0. But say something like 7 that's not divisible by 3. If we divide the 7 by 3, we'd get 2 with a remainder of 1. Okay, so it wouldn't meet that condition that the modulo operator is checking for. Okay, so like I said, in this first condition, we got to check for 3 and, that's with a double ampersand, and we're going to check that it's divisible by 5. Okay, all right. So if it is, we're going to execute some code in here, and the code that we're going to execute is we're going to print fizzbuzz. Okay. Now, if it doesn't meet that condition, the next one we want to check for is if it's divisible by three, and we just do it that way. And the code that we want to execute inside is just going to be to print fizz. Okay. Next up, we want to check if it's just divisible by five. Okay, let's check that. And we're going to print buzz if that's the case. Now, if it meets none of these conditions, we just want to print the number. And we can do that by just printing uh, the variable x. Okay, uh, one more thing we need to add. So we don't want this to be an infinite loop. So we're gonna say x is equal to x plus one. Okay, so we're gonna increment x as we go up. 
that should take care of it. So we're going to quit out of here and I'm going to type R script fizzbuzz.r to run this and you'll see it works. Okay. So we see one, two, fizz, four, buzz, six, fizz, because it's divisible by three, seven, eight, nine is divisible by three, fizz, 10 is buzz, 11, 12 is fizz, 15 fizz buzz, 29 fizz buzz. We go up to the end here. We get 97, 98, we get fizz, and then uh, because 99 is divisible by three, and then 100 is divisible by five, so we get buzz. So this video was showing you how to do fizzbuzz uh, in the R language. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as it really helps the channel grow. Uh, later today, I'll be posting videos on Ruby and Pearl in the fizzbuzz challenge. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.